Jesse, congratulations for being elected, selected into the California Wrestling Hall of Fame. Congratulations. Thank you, Dave. Appreciate it. I'm going to ask you some questions about your background, you know, for posterity reasons. Sure. Um, and I'm going to start off with what, what individual had, had the greatest impact on your wrestling career? Uh, man, that's a tough question. I've had a lot of really good coaches um, from, you know, getting started all the way up to, you know, college. I would say, yeah, I, I don't want to, you know. You, you can have more than one. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've had plenty, yeah. yeah. I would say the, the biggest jump that I made would have been from um, high school to college where I you know, went from being really competitive at the state level to, to the national level. Um, and I credit most of that to my, my two college coaches, um, Mark Perry and uh, Jeremy Hunter. Oh, wow. Who was your wrestling idol uh, growing up? Um, probably uh, like a lot of kids my age and maybe younger, older as well, was John Smith. Oh, yeah. yeah really enjoyed the way he wrestled, his mindset, uh, skills, everything. Just even to this day, still my favorite. Did you do that low single? <laughs> I tried to do it. I don't know if I did it as good as him, but I, I tried to. What personal attribute or characteristic contributed to your success in the sport of wrestling? I think it would just be the, um, the work ethic. Um, just kind of being consistent with what I'm telling when I, the kids, when I coach little kids, when I coach high school kids, when I coach, um, you know, I'm a college coach now, is just if you just keep working, eventually something's got to give. Eventually you're going to break through in some sort of way. If it's not the exact goal that you set out to, to accomplish, it's going to pretty, be pretty darn close if you just stick to, to, to giving your best every single day, competing to your best, practicing to your best, living the best life you can. If you do that every single day to your best ability, I believe that no matter what you're doing, whether it's you know um, the professional world, whether it's school, whether it's you know, sports world, if you consistently do that, I believe that something's going to break through and you're going to get good results. Even if it's not exactly where you want it to be, it's going to be in that, that range. Very good. What's the most outstanding memory you have of your career in the sport of wrestling or, you know, that stands out in your mind? Um, yeah, that's, um, there's been so many. I started wrestling when I was five and I pretty much wrestled until, um, you know, mid twenties, did a little bit of freestyle after. Um, I would say yeah, it would either be winning, winning Big Ten. I got to wrestle in the Big Ten tournament. It was hosted at my school in Illinois, wow. so that was pretty special being able to do that in our home crowd. And um, second would be the first NCAA title in yeah. 2013. Wow. Throughout your uh, wrestling career. What is the single most memorable match? Uh, single most or memorable Or event. Match. <laughs> uh, every year, the NCAA tournament, even as yeah. a fan. Um, the first time I actually went was when I competed in it in, in 2012. So that was, um, it was cool, but it was stressful. Yeah. It was exciting. It was all these different emotions. So that, that might be the most exciting yeah. um, event I ever went to. But even after that, competing yeah. in it the next three years, then going back and watching it, it's, um, you know, you always get a little bit yeah. of nerves. What made you get involved in the sport of wrestling? How um, did that come about? I just, I started when I was young, probably not unlike a lot of kids. Um, Dad took me in, went to the youth practices, stuck with it, and then just gradually, you know, found a little success and got hooked. Uh, if you had the opportunity to restart your career, is there anything you would do different? Anything I would do different? Um, sure. I mean, I'm sure everybody has those, um, you know, what if, you know, what if I would have done this? What if I would have done that? Um, I, I think the way we train maybe might have been a bit much. I was always kind of in the mindset that more is better. So, um, you know, I might have overtrained a little bit. Yeah. 
So maybe you would have took a little bit better care of that as far as recovery, you know, dialing back the, um, the duration of training, maybe. Would have, would have switched that kind of stuff up. Um, you know, it, you're young, you can get away with things, yeah. so. I might have not did the best of, at recovering, so I'd say probably if I had to change something, it, it would be that. It would be um, just being more yeah. responsible with everything. When it's all over, what would you like people to remember about you? Um, what would I like people to remember about me? That's, a, that's an interesting question. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, I'm, I'm not sure what I'd want people to remember. When I went out there and competed, I just always gave my best. I tried to, you know, do do whatever I could to, to win the match, and I tried to, um, you know, give everything I had. I always tried That's to give it. That's pretty good right there. Yeah, I always tried to give everything I had. So if, if there's one thing that, you know, people could maybe yeah. pr appreciate that I'd, I'd, I'd want them to appreciate is that I just, I always gave it everything I had. Yeah. It was never, um, it was never an instance where you I, never held back. Where I held anything back. Yeah. It was always me tr trying my best and and then some to to win the match. So if, if there's anything somebody could remember me for, yeah. as far as a competitor is um, that I always yeah. I always tried to give my best everything I had That's every terrific. time I went out there. Well, again, congratulations on being selected into the California Wrestling Hall of Fame. It's quite a quite an honor. Thank you. Yep, thanks.